Hello, so video number two of the day. Now I know there are a jillion different videos on this bag, but I just kind of wanted to go through and do what I can fit in my Louis Vuitton pochette motif. This bag actually fits quite a bit. Um, I love the versatility of it. It can be used every day if you don't want to carry the larger bags, which I have numerous Louis Vuitton bags that are larger. Um, but I've been loving this one lately. So I'm gonna kind of go over things about it. I have mine dressed up. I have a little Michael Coors pom-pom bag charm on it. And then I have the Louis Vuitton boarding bandeau wrapped around the handle so it doesn't get, you know, raindrops or patina dust or anything on it. This is the newer style that does not have the leather tab pull on the zipper. But that's okay. I left the plastic on mine so I can, you know, keep the hardware scratch free for as long as possible. But you can't see it because it's clear, so that's awesome. So the bag, I have mine pretty stuffed. You can see the bottom. It does um, expand nicely. There's the side. And it also expands nicely. I mean, the bag just works really well if you want to carry a smaller bag for the day. So I'm going to open it. So everybody knows the features of the Matisse. It does have three, three compartments, actually, and then the zipper compartment on the back. So in my front pocket, I have my key clay and then just a little gadget. Then I have my long champ cosmetic pouch. This is about the same size as a Louis Vuitton um, cosmetic pouch in the PM size. So I have it in the middle compartment with a lot of my essentials and medicines and things. And in the very back, I have my Zippy Compact Wallet, which fits perfectly. So I actually bought this wallet for this bag. I mean, some of the larger wallets will fit if you want to put it in the middle compartment, but I want to carry my cosmetic pouch, so I got the Zippy Compact put back there. It just fits really lovely. So as you can see, I mean, there's a ton of room in this bag. And I love the features of it. It has the brown microfiber lining. This one was made in the U.S. because I'm about four or five months ago, Louis Vuitton was going to discontinue this bag. And it came in such high demand that they started producing more of them to meet, you know, the client's demands and fulfill orders. So they started making them in the U.S., so it has the brown little made in the U.S. of imported materials, but they assured me that all the parts are from France and that it wouldn't be any different and it is obviously a 2016 series. So I don't care that it's not made in France or I think they had some made in Italy there for a while also. I love the strap on it. I mean, you can make it really long for crossbody, obviously. It's engraved Louis Vuitton. And then you have the... Um, these are all engraved Louis Vuitton. Then you have the back pocket, which I don't really put anything in, but occasionally I'll put my phone in it, but it's a pretty big pocket also, and that's where you find your date code. So, I mean, it, it is functional as well. If you wanted to put something in it, it's gonna fit a bit of phone easily. I mean, here's my keys. They're gonna fit just fine, and it would actually zip up with my keys in it. And it doesn't look too bulky or anything, so, I mean, you could actually use that pocket. I just choose not to. So I don't really have a need for the back pocket. But I really like the bag and, you know, I was thought about getting a Chanel flat bag. If I do, I'll sell this in my Montaigne GM. But for now, I like it. And um, I think it's a really cute little bag. And like I said, it's extremely functional. So if you have any questions or comments, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Thank you.